Today in Design, Build and Fix, we're going to show you how to do a hip roof with a reverse gable. This is the third in a series of videos that's showing you how to design a roof in SketchUp. The first video was a gable roof, the second video was a hip roof, and this one of course is a hip roof with a reverse gable. Now if you didn't watch the hip roof, you're going to want to go back and make sure you watch that video because I'm not showing you how to draw a hip roof in this one, we're just modifying the hip into a reverse gable. All right, so if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's show you how to get this done. All right, so the first thing we have to do is understand what a roof pitch is. We have a rise, which is how far the roof goes up, and, how far, and the run, which is how far the roof actually goes over. And so what we're going to do is take this house as an example. The span of this house, or the distance across it, is 25 feet. We know that we're going to have a one foot overhang on each side. So that means the total span is 27 feet. That's 25 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 27. And for this house design, it could be different. It could be a 512, 612, 712, 1212, 412, whatever it is. Let's say, for example, it's a 512 pitch. That means that the for every... 12 inches of run, it goes up, I'm sorry, 12 feet of run, it goes up 5 feet. It could be 12 inches or 5 inches. Either way, it's the same. All right, so it's a 5-12 pitch. And so in order to do this, what we have to do is set up a proportion. And so I'm going to do this, 5 over 12. This is the rise. That's the run. And we're going to cross multiply it with, well, we know that our run for our house is 27. But realistically, it's not 27. It's actually going to be half that because we're only going up halfway and then we're coming back down. So if we take 27 divided in half, you're going to get 13.5 feet, and that's going to be uh, over or under an X. So X is what we're trying to find, is what is the rise, because that's in question right now. So we're going to just cross-multiply this. We're going to take... 5 times 13.5 and then 12 times x. So it's going to be 12x is equal to, and we go 5 times 13.5, gives us 67.5. Then what we have to do is isolate the x, divide by 12. So x, we've crossed those out, x equals, so it's 67.5 divided by 12. That's going to give us 5.625 feet. All right. Well, 5.625 feet is an issue because that's not in 0.625 isn't in inches. It's actually in you know five eighths of a foot. So the better way to do this isn't to divide it by feet, is to do it by inches. So what we're going to do is come over here and convert everything into inches because these are 5 feet. All right, so what we're going to do is take 5 times 12, gives us 60, and 12 times 12 is 144, and then our x stays the same, and then if we take 13.5 feet, multiply it by 12, it's going to give us 160. Uh, let's see, 13.5 times 12 gives us 162 inches. So we're going to take 60 times 162 and 144 times x. So we're going to 144x equals 162 times 60 gives us 9,720. We have to isolate the x, so we're going to divide by 144. So x is going to equal 9720 divided by 144 gives us 67.5 inches. So that means that this right here with a 512 pitch is going to give us 67.5 inches. So that's how you calculate pitch. How to create reverse gables on a hip roof. Alright, well the easiest way to complete that is to actually put a hip roof on the whole house in itself. 
and then change the surfaces that you want or part of the roof that you want to become uh, the reverse gables uh, afterwards. And so to do that, let's go ahead and uh, we'll show you how to do that. So what we want to do is we want to take this point and bring it forward so it's in line here and bring this point forward till it's in line here. This one's going to be a little bit easier than this one, so let's we'll start with this one. We're going to grab the measurement tool and we're just going to put a guide on here that falls out because that's going to extend this ridge all the way out. Then we're going to find the midpoint of this and go straight up until it intersects that guide. So now we have everything that we need. So what we're going to do here is just click on this because it is a group and we have to edit that group. So I'm going to right click, edit group, and then we're going to grab the move tool. And all we have to do is bring this point out to where it intersects on there. And as you can see, we now have a reverse gable on this hip roof. It's going to give that house a little bit more character. And so let's go ahead and get rid of these guides because we have to put some more guides on here for this other part. Uh, we're not going to deal with this just yet. Let's show you how to do this and we'll finish up this section here a little bit later on how to get our returns and our rake edges on here. And so I'm going to come in here and do the same exact thing on this surface. We're going to go from the midpoint out. That's going to give us this line right here. Now what we have to do is we have to find out where this edge falls over here. So we're going to put a guide here and that's going to give us an intersection point. And so let's go ahead and edit this roof. We're going to right click, edit group, and we're going to grab the move tool and turn it into the copy command. And all we're going to do is copy this. Well, I got to pre-select what I want to copy. And then I can grab the move and then copy this. And all we're going to do is bring that over until it intersects that line. Then grab the pencil tool. Uh, actually, we don't have to grab the pencil tool. We can just use it with a guide. So we're going to take this and put a line here and follow it along that. And it's going to intersect where that comes together. So then we can grab the move tool. And we're just going to move this. And so we have to unselect all those other stuff. Get back into edit the group. And so realistically, that line is done, but we'll leave that on there for now. Uh, we're going to grab the Move tool, we come from here, and we're going to drag this forward until it intersects. Got to get the intersection. Okay. So not quite there yet, because what we have to do is to heal these faces. So I'm just going to draw a line from here up that heals parts of it, and then I'm going to draw a line from here up to here, which heals those faces. Now we can go ahead and start to erase some of the stuff we don't need. And as you can see, we got all those things gone. And we'll go out here, and we can get rid of some of these guides. OK, so now we have our reverse gables on there. Now we have to fix our surfaces uh, for our rake edge and get those to be uh, uh, even with the front of the house. So we're going to edit these groups again, and we're going to offset. We're going to go in by six inches. Same thing prop problem happens over here. We go in six inches. And uh, we have to get a 16 inch return, just like we did in all the other roofs. Put our guides on here, 16 inches over. Do another guide here, 16 inches over. You may have to zoom in to get, oh. you may have to, 16 inches over. Then we'll come over here, 16 inches. All right, so now we're going to draw some lines on here like we did in the other videos. Come down until it comes onto our line, bring it straight down. Same thing happens over here. And then we can go ahead and start erasing some of the stuff that we don't need. Okay. Then the same process happens over here. Got to come in. Follow it down to touches, our line, erase what we don't need. Of course, we don't need that. Now we have to heal this face up here. So let me not heal it, but get our line on there. It extends down to the roof. OK, so let's erase things we don't need. And now what we have to do is we have to push pull those surfaces back into even 
with the house itself. So we're just going to push pull that back. Same thing happens over here on this side. Okay. Now, we're in the group. Select this, and we're going to right click, and we're going to hide. Uh, let's undo that. So now what we have to do is to get in here, select that, right click on it, and we're going to hide that. And uh, same thing's going to happen over here. Right click, hide. And then of course, we're still not done, because now we're outside of the group and our lines are still on there. So we're going to right click on here and edit this group, select that line, hide it. Uh, Got to get into it. And hide that, and then come over here and do the same thing here with this line. I'm in a different group on this one because this is the porch group. Right click, edit group. Uh, right click, edit the group. Select that, right click, hide, and then it's gone. Okay. So that's how you put a reverse gable onto a hip roof. Now, if you're making this a reverse gable, process just repeats itself. Uh, I do have to say, a little more character looks kind of neat. So that's how you put a reverse gable on a hip roof. All right, thanks for watching another video on how to use SketchUp and design a house. More videos coming out shortly. Hope to see you on the next one.